Thanks, Eli. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. As Sean says, so we're just going to wireless lav you up. How do we actually do that? Or do you want me just to yell? Just a oh, so we're just going to pull this off. Sorry. And then we'll swap it out midway. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Awesome. You are super pro. All right, so you just throw that on your belt. And then I'll just throw that right in there. It's clippy. That worked? No, it's the wrong way. And we'll just take that off mute. On the top. On the top. Love it. Hello? Yeah. Thanks, Eli. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. I'm uh, Don, as uh, Eli has mentioned. I'm from PM Volunteers. Uh, I've been with them for about two years, uh, helping them with engaging nonprofit organizations and the project management community. Tonight, we're going to be talking about IT project management for nonprofits, a case study. Tonight, I'll, I'll just give you a quick overview of what uh, PMV does. Uh, Sean will be presenting the case study about BC 211. We even have our sponsor here tonight, Myrna. Uh, we'll probably make a comment or two at, at some point. PM Volunteers, what are we all about? It's, it's really, it's, you, you people out there have made connections in various areas your, of your area of expertise. Um, we are connecting project management community with the nonprofit community. Our mission is mobilize project management community to generate skilled volunteer PM services for uh, nonprofit organizations. Basically, we, we connect uh, individual project managers within our project management community with the nonprofits. Nonprofits uh, are constantly looking for resources to help uh, better their, their operation. Our history, we were founded in 2009. Basically, events similar to this, a bunch of senior project managers were talking together, going, how can we contribute to our, our community? What, what can we bring? Being project managers, of course, they created a plan. Our, our founder and um, director, Bob Penavos, used about this, the seed was planted, and then in early 2010, he heard about a project that was, was uh, stumbling. The organization spent two years trying to get this project launched. And he was talking to a friend of his who actually had to be a project manager, but maybe we can put the two of them together, which he did. Six months later, the project is completed. Fast forward to today, we've engaged over 80 nonprofit organizations. We have currently over 70 projects that are completed or in progress. And we've been able to donate over 5,000 hours of skilled project management Woo! to the community. This cross section of some of the clients that we've been involved with. You recognize some of the names, I'm sure. Um, one individual organization I'd like to point out uh, tonight is the Lions View Senior Planning Society. PM Volunteers, it's in their second year, have decided to let's honor uh, the commitment and uh, the, the uh, success of the various projects that we've been involved in. They, re they received the project uh, of the year, which is a $2,000 donation towards the next project uh, in regards to uh, time, commitment, uh, and resources of that. They basically embellished and it, it, it encapsulated what we think about in regards to a, a solid project. And we're, you're in luck tonight because BC211 falls right into that category. Examples of our projects, obviously, uh, information technology, which we're going to be talking about tonight. Renovations, constructions. Training and development is something that PM Volunteers is, is, is expanded upon. We do workshops um, where we streamline uh, our project management um, training specifically to nonprofit organizations so that when they engage a project manager, we're speaking the same language, looking at the same methodology, the same structure. 
Actually, that's where I, I met our sponsor tonight, Myrna, at a, a, one of the first workshops. I sat at her table and just introduced myself and we were talking. She goes, I've got this project. You know, it's Help. pie in the sky. <laughs> I said, Help! <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those things where she goes, There's no way a volunteer is going to be able to do this. But as we'll find out, it's a different story once the project started getting on the go. So training and development was a key, is a key uh, pillar for our organization. Human resources, event management, well, we're in Vancouver, all kinds of events. The, the Children's Festival, we're looking for people uh, that help them with their multimedia. Multimedia is, uh, it, uh, nonprofits are screaming to get people that can help them with their multimedia. Of course, social services and, and research. Well, how, how does PMB uh, work? I'm a client relationship manager, and so what happens when a nonprofit organization uh, engages our, our, our group, I'll be sent to, to them to do an assessment. So my job is to determine what are their project management needs. Is this really a project? Uh, and guide them through the process. Everyone hates planning, but once they take the time to do some planning, they realize, wow, we're actually going to save a lot of time, money, and, and resources. So I'll sit down with them, we'll assess their needs. Based on those needs, we see how they're aligned with their mission and what their objectives are. I, I will create a position description, draft it, which I then feed back to, to the client. They approve the uh, position description. The position description is for a project manager to come on board. Uh, in the position description, you actually it's like a project summary, which you have in front of you, like VC211 summary. You've got a mission. What is the organization? What do they do? What are the objectives? What are they trying to accomplish? We put a statement of a, what's the scope? What is the actual work that needs to be done? Timeline, what's the commitment? A lot of our projects are three months. This one is a special case because it was a special person that connected up with them. Every, you know, the stars all align for this particular project. I'm a very, very big fan of what they went through and the successful completion of the project. So when we create a position description, we post it within the project management community, and typically one or two or three people will have the skills, resources, the uh, expertise, and more importantly, the desire to work or to support one of the organizations. At that point, it becomes client-driven. Uh, they will send a cover letter or a uh, resume to um, a uh, nonprofit organization explaining their desires and what their knowledge and skills and education is. At that point, the client connects one-on-one -on -one with the, the, uh, the candidates. We do that because it's not our job to say, oh, person A or person B they're going to be perfect for you. But there's so much more dynamics that are involved in this process. Will this person work with our team? Yeah. Can they work on Sunday nights? I mean, this is, this is all driven by volunteers. So we, we make sure it's client driven. Once they've engaged a the project manager, it's run by the sponsor and the project manager. My role then at, time, at that time is more of a support role. I check in, see how things are going, they need any help. At the end is where we, we facilitate a lessons learned session. See what's working. Uh, what are the high points? And uh, we go through the gamut uh, in regards to a lesson learned session. Why do nonprofits engage skilled volunteers? A good example is complementing uh, the employee's skill set. The next three points here typical project management stuff. We're talking about defining, initiating, planning. Here again, planning, nobody likes to plan, but when they do finally break that um, uh, barrier and start planning, they realize it didn't take as long as they thought it was going to be. Um, by doing that, they get, get the project done on time and on budget. Typically, budgets for nonprofit organizations are, as you probably know, close to zero. The key component is identifying risk and mitigating risks. Taking all that together at Bill's internal PM capacity. Why do PMs volunteer? Why do you people want to volunteer for various projects? I've heard the 
first three people at uh, three new people at the beginning here are talking about their skills. Uh, we've got a designer. We, you know, we've got, we've got certain skill sets that we can bring to a various project. So um, we're looking at their connection to the uh, the nonprofit. Meaningful engagement is, is really key. Uh, I've dealt with Canadian Cancer Society, and a project manager come down to my you know, one of my relatives or a family member had passed away from cancer. I want to, I want to give back to the community uh, my knowledge and skills that I can bring and help the project get off the ground. Of course, you have the, the obvious ones, career development, networking. Um, if you have a uh, certification, you can get uh, professional development units as well. 